so welcome guys to rising code seras and this is part 2 where we were building the resume builder ai and in this part 2 we are going to design the ui for the landing page you will get the source code at the comment section and inside this we are going to make some styling css part so here we were and in this we have just created the structure of the page and you can see here the so we created the structure and now it's time to design this uh, designing the ui part like this and the designing so we are going to just write css and i think it's uh, just uh, 50 60 line css so let's see and uh, let's start to make it so first of all we have created this boilerplate and the html structure where we included uh, where we write some h1 tags some paragraph tags uh, use some anchor tags and here we are going to give one link afterwards when we are going to create the final project and some br tags some bold tag okay so simple simple tags we just included here now is uh, and also we have included some classes now it's time to uh, take this classes and make this css part so for this what i am going to do so create new file and we will give it name as style.css okay what we give here name just we are going to see here and style.css so what we are going to do uh, similar name i am going to give here so style sorry style.css okay so the file is been created and first of all we are going to just make this asterisk and this curly braces and what i am going to do here is i am going to make the margin zero uh, because by default the margin and padding is given uh, by the browser and we want to make it zero okay padding zero so that we can customize according to write the background color also background color also and here the color code for the background color is hashtag #1 e4620 e4620 so you can see this is the color code this is the color code which i have been used and you can use similar or different according to your choice what did you like so what i am going to do here i am going to link this css so just write link and css okay it is by default it is going to give dot style dot css so what i am going to do this uh, dot slash style dot css okay now when we move to our page you can see it is going to change the background color and this means that our css is been linked with our html page now what we are going to do just move inside the style.css and i am going to so you can see this is the intro so what i am going to do uh, i'm i would like to make it small and then i am going to copy this and make some styling for this introduction so dot and paste it then inside curly braces what uh, we are going to use the font family and i am going to use cambria okay and many more things you can see here so what's the reason behind this so some browser suppose it is not having this font style so it is going to use this otherwise this so this is like this and let's enter and you can see here we are going to give some font size and the font size is going to be 25 pixel so you can change this according to your choice how much you like so then after this we are going to go with we want here margin left okay and the margin left here is going to be 20 pixel okay after this we are going to give some color for this and you can get the color code here and the color code is going to be hashtag double f double zero double f okay so this is going to be color like just pink so let's see so you can see here open dot ai and it's having some padding and this is not having padding okay we will see it afterwards but let's see here page source and okay we will see it afterwards so open dot ai and introducing our ai technology so we are going to uh, give similar here so we given margin left font family font size margin left then next point is that we are going to take this intro one uh, so you can see this copy this come here and dot paste it and inside this what i am going to do similarly font family 
and I'm going to take Cambria okay you can just make it instead of uh, assigning separately direct to the body tag so that it is going to apply for each and every CSS okay so then font size and that is going to be 25 pixel the next thing is margin left margin left and the margin left here is 20 pixel so margin left and that is going to be 20 pixel sorry px and then we are going to go with margin top margin top and the margin top is going to be 70 pixel okay 70 pixel then after that we are going to go with the color okay color and this is going to be hashtag double f zero sorry double zero double f okay similar like the above one which we used here okay now let's see so here is some problem with this because you can see here okay and it is not making padding from top so we can just directly use the br tag also so here we were and just i'm going to write br tag and when i'm going to save it and refresh okay so it's okay similar like this and everything is looking similar up to this now we are going to style the para para then this one and the button also okay now when we are going to hover this okay we are going to build this so let's begin with the para so this is the para copy this and here at the bottom paste it inside the curly braces here also the font family is going to be okay so where is it and we are going to go with camera so as you wish the font family you can change different styles you can apply and this will make more interesting and UI is going to be more user friendly okay so font size is going to be here 25 pixel then next thing is uh, font weight okay font size font weight is going to be 20 pixel font weight 20 pixel then next thing is going to be margin left left and margin left is going to be your 20 pixel then margin right this is going to be 20 px sorry 20 px then margin top margin top and that is going to be your 10 px 10 px then we are going to go with the color and here the color code is going to be hashtag double c 92 double c okay this is little bit different from the other color codes we used before this okay so it's just like an okay you can see similar with this here the output is there then next we are going to make this also so okay here we have to make one br tag so for this let's go here and where is it may respawn okay so here what i'm going to do just write br tag and enter uh, so we want to go with format document okay so it is going to format for me automatically okay so you can see uh, sorry here and the space has been generated here you can see this space here and right now this time it's time to make the button okay we have just created everything and we are going to design the button and when we are going to move it similarly like this it should hover and change the color okay as you can see the background color is been changed when i am going to hover it you can see the background and the text color is going to be changed so for this we use the hover effect uh, inside the css so let's work with this so for this what we are going to do here uh, you can see the button and we are having the class okay just i'm going to copy this class and come inside the style.css then dot v curly braces what we are going to make here the border is going to be 2 pixel solid hashtag double f zero sorry double f double zero double f and then we are going to go with the background color background color and the color code for this is hashtag one e4620 e4620 okay then we are going to go with the color and color here is going to be hashtag double c okay we used previously similar that one 
then we are going to go with the margin left and that is going to be 20 px then we are going to go with padding top and the padding top here is going to be 10 px then we are going to go with the padding bottom and the padding bottom here is going to be 10 pixel okay now let's see so you can see uh, here okay when we come here you can see uh, this has been created but some problem like you can see the, here is the padding and the left and right and here on this button we can see the padding so what I'm going to do just come here margin left padding top we have given padding bottom we have given so we can give padding left and right so you can see here is no padding and the left and right so what I'm going to do instead of writing padding top padding uh, bottom what we are going to do here just write padding and I will give it as 5px and 5px okay now save it and when you are going to come you can see the padding has been created okay so what I'm going to do uh, we are going to make 10 pixel padding here 10px okay and let's see right now okay instead of making here 10 pixels what I'm going to do uh, first of all we are going to make the 10 px and then we are going to go with the 5 px ok save it now let's see ok fine with this button ok similar like this and after now we are going to focus on the hover when I am going to hover the color is going to change of the background and also the text color of the button ok so for this what we are going to do copy this again and bottom we are going to paste it and dot h o v e r hover effect we are going to use okay so for this when I'm going to use the hover effect so the border must be 2 pixel solid hashtag f0 f0 okay so this must be the border so I'm going to just remove similar border then we are going to change the background color background color is also uh, okay background color here is going to be change escape uh, background color B A C K G R O. okay background color is here is going to be hashtag double C and this one okay this color code and after this move to the bottom and I'm going to change the color also so the color code here is going to be hashtag 1 E46 okay you can see the color code color sorry then we are going to go margin left 20 pixel okay uh, padding top is going to be okay just remove this uh, padding bottom so cursor pointer first of all we are going to focus it on cursor and the cursor must be pointer okay so that when I'm going to move at this button you can see okay just refresh it so it's not overing so okay here we are going to go with this is to symbol okay and right now it should hover okay so when we are going to move at this particular button it is going to hover and you can see the hand is going to come okay like it is going to point out so this we used inside CSS that cursor pointer okay so padding top padding bottom so everything is been created similar like this you can see uh, all the website is been created you can see here also and here also okay I think here the space is little bit okay same okay same it's same and everything is same so we have created the landing page here in this this video get the source code and all the file of this project inside the comment section and in next lecture we are going to create this okay when we cre we are going to create this so okay just we are going to create the HTML page okay so I'm going to cancel 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 everything so suppose to okay cancel okay so it is going to take some okay so in next video what we are going to do we are just going to create the structure for this okay and after that video we are going to style it and then we are going to work with the javascript okay so where the where it is going to take this input okay so that's all about this lecture thank you for watching this lecture